In this video, you will get to know the new planning functionality for top-down cost element group planning for projects. The planning tool consists of one planning form containing a planning structure. This structure is essentially the WBS structure, combined with cost elements. At the bottom of the screen, you can see a report on the same data in a different structure. The project is not broken down in a hierarchy but each individual combination of a WBS element with a cost element is represented by a line. The report shows some master data information like the WBS element code and description, the actual values for the previous year, 2011, as well as the plan data for the current year, 2012. Currently, we have not entered any plan data yet, but before we start entering any plan data, we would like to adjust the report at the bottom to make the figures easier to compare. By pressing the Settings button, we get a pop-up to configure the layout of the report. First of all, we would like to show a total sum for both the actual and planned figures. To do this, we choose the Calculation tab and adjust the calculation settings for the plan and actual values so that they are totaled. When we are done, you can see that there is now a total line at the bottom. Next, we would like to summarize the actual and planned figures by WBS element. So we choose the Sort tab this time and tell the system to sort the entire report by WBS element. The report then not only sorts the data, it also collapses so that you can now see the plan and actual figures broken down by WBS element without the detail on cost elements. Now let's maintain our plan for 2012. We have received a total budget of 1 million euro for our project. We start project planning top-down by entering the total budget on the top WBS element. When we hit the Enter key, the total amount gets allocated to the subordinate WBS elements. However, you might wonder which logic the system is following when allocating the figures. As we expand the planning hierarchy, you can see that the total of 1 million was allocated evenly to all of the individual planning elements. Every combination of a WBS element and a cost element received the same amount. Thus, the more planning elements there are subordinate to a hierarchy node, the higher the share of the total amount the node receives. We now adjust the budget for our subproject by comparing our current top-down plan to the actual figures of 2011. As we do so, the total budget gets summarized bottom-up automatically. With our bottom-up cost estimate, we have ended up with a total of €950,000 only. For good measure, we reapply the total budget of 1 million to the top node of the hierarchy, allocating the difference of 50,000 euro top-down evenly to the subordinate WBS elements again. When we save our plan entries, you can see that they are now also visible in the report at the bottom, summarized by WBS element and with a total of 1 million.